Hey guys, and welcome to another Top 5 Friday. I'm your host Tim Kant, and uh, what you might not know about me is that I'm extraordinarily rich. That's right, every night I jump into a giant pool of money, Scrooge McDuck style, and you're probably wondering how I amassed such enormous wealth. Well, I tell you, it's from getting cheap plugins and saving all of that cash. And funny enough, that's what today's Top 5 Friday is all about. So without further ado, let's check out some cheap, cheap goodies. We're getting stoned with Goliath at 5. Vinyl Strip is gathering dust at 4. Scalar makes beautiful music at 3. Tal Uno LX is a luxuriating at 2. And Time Shaper is our anachronistic number 1. At 5, Goliath by Tone Empire. This channel strip emulating plugin recreates three types of audio signal path solid state, tube, and tape, modeling each of the three to provide the specific response you'd associate with it. Once you've chosen the type of signal path, you can add input drive, set low, mid, and high bands with Goliath's onboard EQ, and engage a low cut switch. Goliath's envelope section, compression by any other name, lets you set attack and release times, and there's also a motion control with settings ranging from splat to sharp. The tone shaping characteristics of Goliath can be yours for £59.95. pennies. So Goliath is a pretty straightforward plugin. There are a few bits about the interface that aren't so clear, so I'm just going to look at those real quick to explain what they do. Um, let's take a listen to a bit of uh, easy drummer beat we've got here. Now, currently we're in silver mode, which is like a transformer mode. You can hear that affecting it there. Then we have gold, which is a sort of tube vibe. And then we have titanium, which is your tape emulation. And you can get really rugged and crusty with that. Clearly having differing input slash drive amounts will give you a bit of a different response. Also we have the envelope section, which is basically compression, so let's give that a go now. I'm going to turn that on. Currently we are set to 100% splat, which means pure compression, so let's see what that does. We'll turn up the uh, release time first of all. Ooh! So you can really Go nuts with that. That's very obvious. The same thing with the attack. Letting those transients come through. Let's turn up the input. Oh lord, that's a bit much. Let's have a little bit of release as well. In fact, let's go nuts with the release. So by balancing those two, you can get really strong feel that you can mitigate a bit by putting a bit of the dry signal in there. But what about this splat sharp business? Well, I will tell you, sharp is more of a saturation mode. So let's see what happens when we turn it up to sharpness. You see, you're not really getting that compression anymore, but you are getting quite a lot of saturation. So let's have a bit of a play around with the attack and release, see what we can do with that. Let's make it a little bit more subtle for starters. So there, the hits are just going straight in. Turning it up, they're getting smudged a little bit. So there you go, plenty of tone shaping going on with your boy Goliath there. At four, Vinyl Strip by Audio Thing. Featuring six processor sections to grunge up and degrade your audio, Vinyl Strip is guaranteed to push your sounds into a place I call the retro zone. Vinyl Strip has a default signal path of compressor, distortion, reverb, a tilty cube, and sampler modules. But where it's at is the vinyl mode, which lets you increase the dust amount and rate, age the record between modern and vintage, add wow and noise, and monoize the whole signal. Also worthy of note are vinyl strip sampler parameters, which let you set a new bit depth and sample rate. Vinyl strip is a keen £49, a nice deal for a plugin loaded with cool effects.
Okay, my dusty fingered friends, let's take a look at vinyl strip. Now, there are plenty of different effects here. As you can see, we're just gonna focus on the vinyl section, but before we do that, I wanna make it very clear. Look. You can drag everything around and order it how you want, which is a nice touch. Now you see I've got everything turned off here, apart from the vinyl section. So let's investigate that. Now currently everything is turned down aside from the stereo knob, which is set to full stereo. So let's have a listen to our audio. This is a bit of a Rhodes loop. I've put some chorus on to give it some stereo width. <laughs> That's sounding nice. Now, we're gonna reduce the stereo width with this knob here right now. Okay, monoizing. Not mind blowing, useful, especially if you wanna sound like a mono record. Let's have a look what else we've got. So, dust amounts. Now, this is uh, pretty straightforward. You're gonna hear as we turn it up. So let's turn down the audio and you'll be able to hear the dust even clearer. It's dusty guys. And you can turn up the dust rate to make your record even muckier. Let's bring back in the uh, roads. That's dusty, charity shop style. Let's turn down a little bit. And then if that weren't enough, you've got some noise too. If we turn down the dust, we just focus on the noise. Vinyl style noise, guys. And then we have wow, which is kind of, I'm gonna stop for a second there. Oh, okay, bye noise. Um, wow is the kind of pitch modulation that you get from a, a vinyl record. Vinyl ain't perfect, guys, I'm sorry to break it to you. So let's have a listen to what that does. Now it's pretty subtle, to put it mildly. If you want something a bit crazier, you can go to the more section and choose Wow Enhanced. And let's have a listen to this. Yeah, that record has been warped to F. Okay, so we'll turn down the Wow a little bit. We'll put some noise back in, we'll have a little bit of dust. And uh, let's finally age the record artificially with this record age knob. And as you can hear, that really thins out the sound. I'll turn everything else down. Let's have a listen to this. So that's sounding thick and kind of modern. And then it's sounding like a bit of a knackered old record. We'll put the rest of the goodies on there and uh, have ourselves a bit of a vintage party. Let's have some stereo back in there as well. Oh my goodness. So there you go guys, knackered as you like. The Three Scalar by Plugin Boutique. With its relatively straightforward approach to music theory, Scalar makes keys and chords easy to understand and choose, and it only costs £39.95p. First of all, Scalar's detection mode analyzes the MIDI you feed into it and offers suggestions for the key you're in. You can also use detection mode to find out which other scales will fit with the one you're currently using, giving you more options. Scalar then offers a wide range of chords to choose from, including groups for progressions, some of which come straight out of top artists' chord bags. There's also a fretboard view for guitar-centric playing and an arpeggiator built in to rhythmatize your chords and create complex runs of notes. Scalar's most recent update, version 1.7, added over 100 new chord sets to the mix, bringing you even more inspiration. There's a lot going on in Scalar, plenty to get your teeth into. But if you want to use it in a bit of a simpler way, you can do that too. And that's just what I'm going to do now. Um, I'm going to try and make a little bit of a chord progression out some of the new Bossa Nova chords and try and do it as quickly as possible just to see how that works. So what we do is we select songs. We select Bossa Nova. Don't want to hurt my brain here. I'm going to select Bossa Nova 1. And this gives us a selection of chords to play with. So 
So the very easiest way to make a chord progression out of these is to do a bit of dragging and dropping. So first what I want to do is I'm going to find a little bit of a progression that works for me. So maybe it'll be... No. Mm. No, hang on. That's the puppy. So the great thing about scalar is you can just play MIDI straight into it and use it like a regular instrument. And you can also drag these chords out as MIDI. So, so you don't want to bother with any of this relatively complicated stuff down here. You just go drag. So we'll make a little thing here. I realize I'm not rewriting the rules of pop music here or anything, guys, but this is just a little simple demonstration. I'll give you an idea as to how Scalar works in the simplest possible way. And then we'll loop this up and let's have a listen to that. A little bit slow, let's boost it up a bit, there we go. Wasn't that easy? And also, we can play it with a bunch of different sounds in the instrument as well. Oh yeah, that's that lounge sound. I love so much. It's all good stuff, lads. Who doesn't love Bossa? I want to know. Crazy strings. Guitars. Let's go for that acoustic. So there you go, you strum your troubles away with Scalar, why not? At 2, Tal Uno LX by Tal Software. Roland's Juno 60 is an iconic 80s synth with a legendary chorus. You can get yourself one second hand, but it's not exactly priced to move at around £2,000. Much more wallet friendly is Tal Software's Juno 60 emulation, Tal Uno LX. This modern day recreation emulates the analog inconsistencies of the original instrument and includes a great recreation of the Juno 60's chorus, a built in effect with just two mode selectors but an era defining sound. Tal Uno LX plugin will set you back just £46 from Plugin Boutique. We've made much of Tal Uno LX's chorus capabilities and it really is an integral part of the synth and I'll demonstrate why by making a quick a little bass sound now. So we're going to start off with the default presets and we have a sawtooth and the sub oscillator active. I'm going to turn off the sawtooth just giving us the pulsy sub there. Now what I'm going to do is turn down the filter cutoff frequency but turn up the filter cutoff envelope modulation and I'm going to set the sustain of the envelope to low and the decay to middle. And this will give us a bit of a percussive bass sound. A bit shorter, I guess. There you go. That's what I'm after. You could control the kind of, you know, how open the filter gets with this. If we want it, want it nice and open. We could emphasize it a little bit with some resonance. Oh, there. That's nice. Now, it don't sound like much until we add the chorus. Let's try mode one first. Oh, now listen to that. Isn't it gorgeous? In fact, I'm going to turn the max poly down to one so my chubby little digits don't play the, more than one note at a time. So you've got a lot of stereo and movement and warmth and just all those good things from the chorus there. Also, we could try mode two, which is kind of a bit, a bit like a less subtle version of the same thing. And because this is a plug-in and we're not restricted by hardware, like the original Geno 60, we can have both chorus modes on the same time. Which sounds lush. Now, you've got yourself used to how gorgeous that bass sounds. Let's try it without the chorus on, so we'll have a little bit of a play. It's a real world of difference, and that's why you must leverage the power of Tal Uno Alexis chorus to get the most from it. And at number one, it's Time Shaper by Cable Guys. With Time Shaper, you can play with the very fabric of time using just an effects plugin. Just like a DJ scratching away at a record, you can make things move forwards and backwards. 
Time Shaper lets you draw a time response curve in its graph, programming scratches, slowdown effects, and many more ear bending effects. Time Shaper runs inside Cable Guy's Shaper Box rack system, but you don't have to purchase any more than a single Time Shaper license to get going with it. You also get a license for Cable Guy's Half Time plugin as part of the package. Half Time lets you slow down your audio by two, four, or 1.5 times with pristine stretching quality, and he has you blending between the slide and the original signal. The easiest way to show off Time Shaper's capabilities is to do some hip hop vocal effects. So why don't we do that right now? So we're in Shaper Box. We're gonna add a Time Shaper module. Let's listen to our dry audio. I mean, even though the effect's on there, the offset is set to zero all through our one bar loop length, which means that there's gonna be no offsetting. So no freaky business is gonna happen to the sound. So let's take a listen. My life was lonely, yeah. I spent my night just losing hope. I was so hungry, yeah. Oh, I'm pretty hungry too. Okay, so we've got a bit of a Drake style vocal there, clearly. Let's make a kind of tape stop or deck stop effect. To do that, we just click to add a soft point, which adds a bit of a, a bit of a curve there. And if you listen to that. My life was lonely, yeah. I spent my night just losing. Oh. So that's pitching it down and back up again. We just want to pitch it down. So we'll add another point. We'll change this to a hard point. In fact, I'm gonna turn the snap on there so I can snap that to minus one on at the end of the bar, I'll turn that off, and then we'll change this curve around. And we just want a little bit of a drop on the last beat. So let's listen to what that does. My life was lonely. I spent my night I hope I was so hungry. So there you go, bit of a tape stop effect. And we can change how radical that is by changing the offset level. So if we go really crazy. My life was low. I spent my night. So the, uh, our virtual DJ, as it were, has to slow down the uh, effect and then speed it up to get back to the same point. But if we have something just here, it's a, it's a lot subtler. My life was lonely. I spent my night just I hope I was so hungry. I swear one day you'll go in now I'm chosen. Every world quote this. Oh, we could have a really subtle little thing. My life was lonely, yeah. I spent my night just losing. I hope I was so hungry, yeah. I swear. So yeah, incredibly flexible. Another cool thing that we can do, which I really like, is to use the step draw mode. So what we're gonna do is, for the last beat, we're gonna set this to minus one. And we don't want any funny business there. There we go, that's correct it all. So, so the offset is zero, 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 until the last beat where it's minus one. Let's listen to what that does. My life was lonely, lonely. I spent my night just, night just hope I was so hungry, hungry. So there you go, you get a bit of a chopped and screwed effect. That's really the tip of the iceberg. If you really want, you can, in fact, I'll play the loop back and muck about with it because it needs to have something in the buff to play with it. You can go a bit crazy. My life was lonely, lonely. I spent my night just, night just hope I was so hungry, so hungry. I swear when I say I want a glad be one, now I'm ten thousand, I'm going, going, yeah. Everything you heard, every word, quote, people, this my golden, my quote, 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 yeah. This my chapels and my clothes, yeah. Life was lonely for me, yeah. Spent my night just, my whole loop. So yeah, you get the idea. It could be pretty nuts. And it's got multi-band stuff and everything and a mix and everything, and you can trigger different <laughs> MIDI notes for different sort of waveforms and stuff and everything. So yeah, it's really crazy. And if you like time manipulation, Time Shaper is the place to be. Well, that was an absolute load of bargains, and there's plenty more where that came from. So hey, why don't you make sure you subscribe and click that bell icon so you don't miss out on a single bit of juicy plugin goodness. See you next time.